Hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back with another tutorial for you. Now, I don't have a sample to show you today, but, well I do, but it's just a rough one that I made. So, basically what we're going to make, let me just fold this up and I'll show you what it's going to be. It is going to be a sort of mini album, so you fold it out like this and then what's going to happen is they are going to have um like pockets in okay and you're going to be able to store photographs and such like so i just wanted to show you roughly what it is um now it's not my idea i got this i saw this on pinterest and a lady had done it but then she said she got it from a lady called tracy cornelius so that is who it's from okay so it's called a one sheet wonder because you can get it out of a 12 by 12. now i'm using sahara sand for this and we're going to score it first so just get the scoreboard out and on any side it doesn't matter we're going to score it at three and three quarters no three and three quarters not three and a quarter so three and three quarters four inches <clears throat> seven and seven eighths and then we're going to score it at eight and one eighth okay then we're going to turn it to the other side and we're going to score it at two and one eighth and we're going to score it at seven and a quarter okay and it's going to go this way so that's going to be the top that's the middle and that's the bottom now the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to trim a piece off because out of those bits we can then get some little pockets okay so take your trimmer and <clears throat> you're going to pop it in this way so you've got the short side the short score lines to the left and then we are gonna we're gonna cut it get the track out we're gonna cut it down to ten and a half inches so put it in oh, you can't even see put it in at ten and a half okay and then we're just gonna trim it so ten and a half and we're just gonna trim this off okay and it'll leave us with that and then we can just trim them and then we've got some little pockets if you want to use them so now you should have that now i'm just going to pause you a second and i'm just going to adjust this um the height of this camera there we go i think that might be a little bit better so that's what we're going to have that's what we've got now we're going to score it so just fold and burnish it rather not score it we've already scored it Okay, so that's it scored. Now, what we're going to do is the little lines, the double lines that we've got at the top and the bottom, we're going to cut these little pieces out. Okay, and we're just going to cut just past the score line. So 
little pair just like that. So I've also removed a bit of the score line as well. And then we're just going to trim them off because they are the bits that are going to lift up and which are going to form our pockets, okay? So do the same to all of these little pieces here. And then the last one okay so it will fold up there'll be your pockets and there'll be your little flaps okay and then that's how it will close. Okay, sweet little album. This tripod keeps dropping down. Right, okay, so we've got that and it's just really a case of decorating them now. Um, so I've cut some pieces of DSP and what we're going to do I think first is we're going to stick these down okay um, and we just need some really thin tape just to stick down the sides so what you want to do is on, on all three of these you just want to put a tiny little piece of tape just down the sides like that okay down each side so I'm going to do that and I'll be back when it's done. Right, okay, I've put all of the tape like that. So they are then going to get stuck into there. Now we're going to use this gorgeous paper which is called Foil Frenzy. And I suppose it's like a, a craft card type of paper. And it's not double sided, but yeah it is, it's like a craft card. And it's gorgeous. So what I've done is I've cut three pieces for which are going to go here I've just cut one the center one a bit different so they're going to go there and they measure three by three and a half inches okay then if we turn it over which will be the outside of our album I've cut three pieces for here which measure these are four and seven eighths by three and a half and then if we just turn it back i've also cut three of these for the outside of our little flaps okay but i'm going to round <coughs> excuse me i'm going to round the corners on the outside of them and they measure two and seven eighths by three and a half so i'll do one of these and then I'll do the rest off camera just to try and save a little bit of time. So I'm just going to peel the backing <coughs> off the off the tape here. Okay, and then we're just going to stick this down, and that is what's going to be our little pocket. Okay, for our little tags that I've made. And then we are going to pop our little piece of DSP on there. So I will just glue that on with some Tombow. And that's going to go on in the middle of our little pocket okay like that 
And then I've made some tags and I have a feeling they might be a bit tight these actually so yeah they go in. So what I've done is I've made the tag with Sahara sand card and I, it measures four and a half by three and a half and then the DSP for the front is um, four and three eighths by three and three eighths and I've just made a fancy little corner. I've stapled a little bit of very vanilla ribbon on there and that is what you can just put your photographs on okay but I might have to trim it down because that's in the way. I mean it doesn't really matter but I just wanted something on there for people to be able to pull the tags in and out. So that's the little tag. So I'm going to do that with all of these and then I'm going to stick the DSP on the three of them and the back of them and again I'll do that off camera just to save time so I'll be back when that's done. Okay I've stuck all of the pieces of DSP on and there we go. So they just fall down and it just falls around like this and there you've got a sweet little book. Now what I want to do is on the back and this one in the middle, that piece that we trimmed off the DSP, I've just cut one off and I've put some tape around it and I'm just going to glue it onto the back here and I've just punched a little hole and this is going to be a little pocket for a little mini tag that I've made. So I'm just going to glue, uh, tape this down onto here. So I've just put tape on the two sides and the bottom and then I've made a little mini tag which met the DS, sorry, the cardstock is three by two and a half and then that's one eighth of an inch shorter on each side. So the DSP will need to measure two and seven eighths by two and three eighths and that can just slide into there. Now, isn't that sweet? So that's all of that done. Now the tags, they just come out and you can put your little photograph on. Now, I don't know, you might find that they might be a bit tight for you. So if they are, you can just make them a bit shorter. So instead of making them three and a half wide, you could make them three and a quarter. So your card would need to measure four and a half by three and a quarter. And then your DSP would still be the same height, which would be, um, I think I said it was four and three eighths it wouldn't air uh, tall which would be the same but then the width would need to be um about three and uh three and one eighth or three wide the dsp if you want your pockets a bit not as uh, wide as mine so there we go that's that done now we're just going to do a little bit of decoration for um, our the front of our little book. So I've got the stamp set which is just add text. I love this one. It's got some really nice sentiments and I'm going to use this one. I feel that there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people and that's by Van Gogh. So I've got some uh, scrap very vanilla and I've got pool party ink because I think the colours in this one are pool party. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment out. We're going to cut this out with a layer and circle. Okay, very pretty. And then I've got a scrap of pool party cards, so I'm going to cut them out using the layer and framelits. So yeah, I'll go for that one. 
and then the next size up of the scallop circle which I'll cut out of the pool party so I'll do that and I'll be back in a second okay there we go I've cut those out so I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and I've also got some of this pretty um, very vanilla ribbon and that's what I'm going to tie around my little album so I'm just going to cut some off just enough to tie it round and then tie into a bow I might tie it down the bottom actually so it isn't interfering with the tag and I think these would make great little gifts as well they are they're really simple to make and you can do them in all sorts of colours different designs whatever you fancy but yeah I think these are really nice I'm really into little mini albums at the minute as you can probably tell <laughs> okay so I've made a little bow I'm just gonna trim them off a little bit So that's the little bow and then that also keeps it closed and doesn't interfere at the back and then I'm going to glue the little sentiment onto the pool party um, scallop circle just like that And then I'm going to get some couple of dimensionals and I'm going to glue air uh, stick this onto the front of our little album. And then that's it really. Really simple. gonna glue that onto have it about there there we go I think the great really nice and they make great little gifts and I think also once they've got all the photographs inside and stuff they'll be really really cute so I hope you've enjoyed it um, and I'll be back again on Friday with another tutorial and I just wanted to say as well this foil frenzy is beautiful and it's really thick as well it's more like a card than a paper so anyway yeah I'll be back on Friday so thanks for watching take care and bye for now